Basic Base Equilibrium. Arrhenius concept states that acids are compounds which form hydrogen ions during dissociation and bases form OH ions. Princeton and Lowry concept states that acids are donors of protons, whereas bases are acceptors of protons. Acids form their conjugated bases after dissociation, and bases accepting hydrogen ions form conjugated acids. In reactions where acid react with base, conjugated base and conjugated acids are formed. The stronger acid, the weaker its conjugated base, and vice versa, the stronger base, the weaker its conjugated acid. Omphalites are compounds which show both acidic and basic properties. Let's take water as an example. Water reacting with acid shows its basic properties and in reaction with base shows its acidic properties. So water is amphalite. Strong acids and strong bases dissociate completely in water solutions and there are only ions in these solutions. Weak electrolytes dissociate only partially and there are both ions and molecules in water solutions. This picture illustrates this difference. In hydrochloric acid solution there are a lot of hydrogen ions because HCl is strong electrolyte and dissociate completely. Carbonic acid is weak electrolyte and after its partial dissociation there are only several hydrogen ions in solution. Some examples of strong acids and strong bases solutions uh, compounds sorry, and difference between them. Four strong electrolyte solutions. Strong acids have concentration of hydrogen ions which equal to acid concentration because each acid molecule dissociate and form H plus ions. In strong basis solutions concentration of OH ions is equal to base concentration. Weak electrolytes dissociate only partially, so there is equilibrium between molecules and ions in their solutions. This equilibrium is characterized by law of mass action and equilibrium constant. Here are some formulas which you could use to calculate hydrogen ions concentration in weak acid solutions and OH ions concentration in weak basis solutions. Ostwald's dilution law states that there is relation between dissociation constant and degree of dissociation. It states that weak electrolytes may dissociate nearly completely only in very dilute solutions. If alpha is much less than y, we can use this formula k is equal c alpha squared to calculate dissociation constant and this formula alpha is root of k by c for calculation of degree of dissociation. Water product for water solution is constant. For 25 degrees K is equal 10 minus 14. Product of hydrogen ions and OH ions concentration is constant for all water solutions. 
so we can calculate hydrogen ions concentration if we know OH ions concentration and vice versa OH ions concentration if we know hydrogen ions concentration but please don't forget it is only at 25 degree we have 10 minus 14 for different temperatures ionic product of water is a bit different for our course it's okay we will solve all problems only for 25 degrees but you remember that human body temperature is 37 so for this situation ionic product of water and pH um, of neutral medium is a bit different this picture shows relation between pH scale and hydrogen ions and OH ions concentrations. You see that medium which have pH less than 7 is acidic and more than 7 is basic. Here you have some examples of substances we know in our everyday life and the pH. For human body, it should be as acid base homeostasis. All biological liquids should have stable pH. It is very important, especially for blood which has pH range between 7.35 and 7.45. Another examples of pH of different biological liquids. And pH of different parts of our Hastrintestinal tract. Why pH of biological liquids are stable? Because most of them, I will say all of them, contain buffer solutions. Buffer solutions uh, resist changes pH and safe pH of the system stable. We will discuss two types of buffer solutions. Acidic buffer solutions which consist of weak acid and its conjugated base and basic buffer solution which consists of weak base and conjugated acid. Buffer solutions are characterized by two values, pH value and buffer capacity. pH of buffer solution could be calculated by henderson hasselbach equation. This is the general form of this equation. To solve problems, we will use a bit simplified equations. It is easier to calculate hydrogen ions concentration first and then pH like minus log of hydrogen ions concentration. These formulas are used for acidic buffer solutions. Ca and Va are concentration and volume of acid. Cc and Vc is concentration and volume of salt which were used to prepare these buffer solutions. For basic buffer solution formula for OH ions concentration and pH and again it is easier to calculate OH first then use this value to calculate POH and pH. Buffer capacity. It is amount of strong acid or strong base which could be added to one liter of buffer solution to change its pH by one. 
Buffer capacity of solution depends on nature of this buffer solution and concentration of its components. These are formulas which could be used to calculate buffer capacity in case of strong acid addition or strong base addition. Buffer capacity of solution depends on concentration of buffer components. The bigger this concentration, the bigger buffer capacity of this solution. This picture shows that buffer could resist pH change only in small interval. In case of addition of small amount of strong acid or strong base. When hydrogen ions are added to buffer solution, acid will react with it. And if OH ions are added, base from this conjugated pair will react. One example of acetic acid, if OH ions are added, HAC will react. CH3COOH will form acetate ion. And in case of hydrogen ions addition, acetate ion will form acetic acid molecule. In this picture in this diagram we will see how buffer solution work. As an example, we take buffer solution which contains equal amount of acetic acid and acetate ions. If acid is added to this buffer solution, acetate ion will react and concentration of acetic acid increases and concentration of acetate ions decreases as a result of this reaction. When OH ions are added to buffer solutions, acetic acid reacts with them, concentration of acetate ions increases and concentration of acetic acid slightly decreases. When you will write mechanism of action of buffer solutions, you will characterize it with molecular ionic and net ionic equations. Firstly, you should write molecular equation of this reaction, then ionic equation. Don't forget that molecules which are weak electrolytes wouldn't dissociate in this solution. Then we cancel ions which are same on the left and on the right of this equation. And we have net ionic equation which states that when we add strong acid to our buffer solution which contain a lot of hydrogen ions, these hydrogen ions form a weak electrolyte and pH of buffer solution will not change. Similar with an AOH addition. In this case, again, acetic acid and water are weak electrolytes. We will not write them as an ions. Na plus Na plus on the left, on the right will be cancelled. And we have net ionic equation which shows that OH ions which were added with NaOH will form water molecules and pH wouldn't be changed again. Similar reactions you will write for ammonia buffer solution. HCl addition, NH4OH and water are weak electrolytes, they wouldn't dissociate. And NaOH addition, again NH4OH with weak electrolyte which wouldn't dissociate. In this table you see another buffer solutions. 
hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate buffer solution, phosphate buffer solution. Try to write mechanism of their action by yourself. These solutions are very important for human body. Alpha amino acids, peptides, proteins have buffer properties too because they contain carboxylic groups, acidic groups and amino groups, basic groups. If OH ions are added to buffer solution, amino group react with them to neutralize them and if hydrogen ions are added, carboxylic group accept this hydrogen atom, uh, ion sorry, and pH uh, is stable. We will discuss this again when we will study alpha amino acids. So we said that most or all biological liquids contain buffer systems which minimize pH change. But if pH of biological liquids increases and became more basic than normal, this process is called alkalosis. If pH of biological liquids decreases and became less than normal, this process is called acidosis. In human body, there are a lot of systems which maintain pH stable. First, react chemical buffering systems. They react nearly immediately. Respiratory system react in 1-3 minutes and both of them are based on bicarbonate buffer solution mostly. Then our organs will take part in resisting of buffer of pH our organism. This table shows which buffer solutions are the most important for human body and you could see that bicarbonate, phosphate, protein buffer solution and ammonium buffer solution are the most common for human body. According to this table, the most powerful buffer solution, buffer system is hydrogen carbonate or bicarbonate buffer system. It maintains 53% of all acidic basic problems. On this picture you could see how this hydrogen carbonate buffer solution work. This is a bit simplified explanation. You see that all these processes are in equilibrium. All of them are reversible and all of them could be described by Le Chatelier principle.